Authorities in India have resorted to using tractors to rescue residents living in the wealthy housing estates of Bengaluru. It comes as large swathes of the Indian tech hub remain underwater after two days of torrential rain. The unusually wet monsoon season is bringing traffic chaos and power cuts, as well as inundating properties. Firms are also urging their staff to work from home. Rebecca Bundan joins us live now from Mumbai for more on this. Rebecca, authorities are taking some uh, remarkable efforts to actually do those rescues. Uh, How is all of that progressing? Yes, that's right. So parts of the city are so badly flooded that they have had to resort to using tractors. They're also using dinghies to get around and rescue people who are stranded. And that is taking place in, in wealthier neighbourhoods as well. It's not just the, the poorer people who are affected. There's been a huge amount of damage that's been caused by this flooding in Bengaluru, also often referred to as Bangalore, which is India's IT hub. Uh, it means that the roads have been badly damaged, roads have been flooded, uh, there have been power cuts. It's been very, very difficult for, for people to deal with this as those heavy monsoon rains have led to this, flood, led to this flooding. And it also means that people have been, uh, often in many cases, they're being told to work from home. Schools and colleges have also been closed. But there are fears that there will be more heavy rain to come this week. Well, there is more heavy rain being forecast, certainly, this week for Bangalore. Uh, and that's leading to worries that there could be further flooding to come as the city is really struggling to cope, as it is at the moment, with huge traffic jams, chaos around the city. A lot of people just not being able to leave their homes at the moment because of uh, dramatic flooding in parts of the city. Rebecca, thank you for that. Rebecca Bunder there in Mumbai.